Hey guys. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to retopologize your model, which kind of means to optimize it for animation and for texturing. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do that in this video. So follow along. So what we currently have is a polygonal model that looks like our character, and it's a great way to establish concept, but it has a few issues. Number one, it has way too many polygons. And number two, it has bad topology. So too many polygons makes it a nightmare to get ready for our texturing, and it also makes it way too taxing on your computer when you try to animate and deform this model. And in case you didn't know what topology means, that's the structure of the polygons on the face, which right now ours has no rhyme or reason. But if we're able to rebuild that to kind of mimic how the skin uh, and muscles form, then it will make it much easier. Otherwise, the face deforming realistically or believably will be an uphill battle the whole way. So obviously I made a great guide on how to make better topology, low resolution mesh, and uh, just follow along. This might take a couple times, uh, but be patient with it and keep going because you're going to get it. Let's check it out. We're going to be doing our retopologizing in Maya. Fortunately, Maya and Mudbox connect pretty seamlessly. To send our model to Maya, first go to the object list and select sphere. Then go to File, Send to Maya, Send Selected as a New Scene. It may ask you if you want to send it at its current level or at its original level. Make sure you choose Current Level. Cool, now we're in Maya. I'm going to skip the basic intro, so if you're completely unfamiliar with Maya, I suggest checking out our DMA Online course. So I'm going to be using the newest version, Maya 2018, because there's a ton of awesome new improvements. If you have an older version, I suggest switching because some of the tools I'll be using and especially for UV Unwrap, are new in this version. I'm going to open up the Modeling Toolkit by pressing this button in the top right. This is a collection of the most common modeling tools all in one place. Our goal here today is to pretty much redraw our model, or retopologize it. In order to have the new polygons we draw stick on the surface of this mesh, we'll need to make it live. To do that, select the model and click this picture of a magnet. Now it is live, which means it can't be selected, but everything we move or create will snap to its surface. While we're up here, let's turn on symmetry in the X direction. Now, in the Modeling Toolkit, click on the Quad Draw tool. Let's quickly run through how to operate this tool. The way this tool works is you can click and create a point. Once you have four points, you can hold Shift and have a quad or a four-sided polygon appear connecting those points. Then you can draw two more points to hold Shift and create another quad. If you hold Tab, you can click drag out a single edge. If you hold Tab and click drag with the scroll wheel or the middle mouse button, you'll create an entire contiguous edge. You can click drag points, edges, or faces to reposition, and if you drag a point or edge onto another one, it will merge them. Much like in Mudbox, you can hold shift to relax the points across the surface. You can also add edge loops by holding control, and they will automatically shrink wrap to the surface. Hold control and shift to remove an edge, loop, point, or face. Okay, so on to the actual technique of where we'll place these quads to create amazing topology. Start by drawing an eight-sided ring around the eyes, four above, four below. The inner edge should line up with the edge of the eyelids, the outer edge with the base of the lids. Draw another ring around this one, uh, this time going around the outer ridge of the brow line. Now draw out a six-sided mouth loop, three above the crease and three below. This should follow the inner plane of the lips, then draw a second loop around that one. Now back to the eye loop. Hold the tab and drag an edge out of the middle bottom left edge. Then drag another edge to the center. Complete this ring around the nose and the mouth with three above the crease of the mouth and three below. Okay, now let's go get the ear started. Create an eight-sided ring, two for each side, so top, back, front, and bottom, and relax them around the ear. Now pull a quad out of each of the front two. Then pull four out of the top of that to wrap around the forehead. Pull five to wrap around the chin with the first two a little closer to the corner of the jaw. Merge those front middle two quads with the ones in the first loop. Okay, now create a point in the center of the nose so that you can hold shift and create a quad down the center, then follow it up and across the forehead, filling in seven faces in total. Now drop a point on the cheek and use it to create a quad like this. Now you can hold shift to fill in the rest of these three faces. Lines up perfectly. Now just fill in these three quads connecting the lip. Okay, now back by the ear. Pull quads out the top two edges of the ear loop, then pull three quads to wrap around the back of the head. Draw two more quads around the ear, then follow along to the back to finish the loop. Then fill in these six quads on the top of the head. Pull out these three quads down the back of the neck. 
make three rows. Okay, so some more weirdness. You got this. Pull the front bottom edge and have it follow along the bottom of the jaw. Then pull a quad out from the second to the middle edge, loop it back to the center, and then fill in that hole. Then just follow these three quads to loop it back into the neck. So far so good. Now that we've got the basic ideas blocked in, we'll need some more divisions to complete the rest. Hold control to add an edge loop for each quadrant of the eye loop. Add an edge loop above and below the corner of the mouth. Add a vertical edge loop along the ridge of the nose and follow that through across the lips. Add an edge loop across the forehead. Add an edge loop for each of the quadrants around the ear, except for the front two since we've already cut them. Add an edge loop around the eye, the lips, and the outside of the mouth. Draw five quads along the ridge of the nose. Hold tab and middle mouse click and drag to create a second row. Bridge the middle two and add an edge loop to even the distribution of quads. Draw a point to create a quad in the corner of the mouth and draw out three more quads here. Now instead of going across the nose, we want this to make a turn and go down the nose, so follow this direction. Now align this little groove a bit like this so that they line up and fill in these two quads. Similar to what we did near the jaw, put a point down here and create a quad, then draw another one next to it like so. Now you can spend a second relaxing these points out a little bit. Now just fill in this first quad, then draw a point to separate this out, and then fill in these two quads, and then kind of relax them out a little bit to even out the distribution. Then draw points to fill out these three quads across the lip, then connect this quad and continue across the lip. Now draw out one more polygon, but have it turn up and connect with the second from the middle polygon, like so. Then just fill in those two middle polygons. Now we'll draw out a loop on the inside. Then just plug that nose with two polygons. Nice, now we're done with the nose. Now let's fill in the uh, eye. We pretty much want to draw a line down the center. So put a point in between each one of the edges. And if we've done this right, we should line up just like this. Then just fill in the quads. Now let's go up here and turn off live. We're going to create what's called a mouth bag. Switch to object mode and then isolate selected by holding shift I. At this point, you might actually want to switch to vertex mode and select all of your vertices and go to edit mesh merge just real quick. Switch to edge mode and then select the loop of edges on the inside of the mouth. Then just extrude it back and create a little mouth bag. Once you've reached as far as you want to go, you can go to edit mesh merge to center. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to leave how to do the ear out of this lesson. It's not totally necessary, and you can follow along the rest of these videos without doing it. But I'll do a bonus video showing you how to do that. Otherwise, nice job. We just retopologized a face with like production level quality. This looks fantastic, and it's going to make animation possible. This can actually run in a game engine now. And most importantly, it's going to make texturing in the next video so much easier. Thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.